Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to apply a positive adjustment to a patient's ledger. Typically, adjustments are defaulted to be a credit or a negative adjustment. So if I go to my patient list and we'll pull up Sabrina Mendez and go to her ledger, if I go into add patient payment slash adjustment and I'm going to give a courtesy to the patient, it turns out to be a negative dollar amount. For example, we'll give her a $10 discount off of her profi. The computer automatically assigns a negative sign to that item. And when I save my changes, you'll see that she went from having a $98 balance on this item to $88 because we subtracted off $10 from the production by giving an adjustment. If we want to actually tack on an additional cost for a lab fee, or a finance charge, or any sort of additional fee to the patient's account, we want that to be a positive amount instead of a negative amount. If I go back into add patient payment slash adjustment, I can choose the type of adjustment code I'd like, which I have an example here for finance charge. And then in the adjustment column, instead of allowing the computer to assign a negative value to that item, I'm actually going to go ahead and take out the minus sign and add in a plus sign and save my changes. Right off the bat, you can see that there's no minus sign attached to that, which means we're adding on to the charge rather than taking away from the charge. Also, by default in the system, when you add on to a charge, it's going to be a blue item. When you take away from a charge, it's going to be a red item. So now we have effectively brought the balance for this item back up to $98 because I wiped out the $10 discount that we had given on that item. In a previous video, I showed you through the activities menu how to apply late charges to accounts overall. However, this is an alternate way where you can go directly to the patient's ledger, use your adjustment option, and tack on an additional fee to any given charge that you see here. Once again, I just make sure I put a plus sign into that space first type in my dollar amount, and then if I want to give an adjustment off of another item, I'm just going to type in the dollar amount, and that defaults to be a negative adjustment already. And save your changes. In order to use these different adjustment codes and have it be a positive adjustment instead of a negative, you need to make sure that the code selected has allow positive amount chosen. So if I go to list, and to our account code list. We'll pull up our adjustment code and edit that account code. The key to allowing that to have a positive amount is to make sure you select allow positive amount. That is what's gonna allow that code to work either as a positive amount or a negative amount. If you have any further questions regarding this week's tip of the week, feel free to contact Dentamax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.